This week on our farm in Portugal, we're finally getting started on renovating some of the buildings we've got on our land. First and foremost, it's time for new windows to be installed into our house because we've been living with a hole in the wall for far too long. And John gets started on the truly back-breaking task of making the roof of our older Degger watertight. And folks, this might just be the one and only time you'll see him very nearly almost defeated. We are the newbies, John, Tara and Crusoe. And we've been living an extraordinary life, committed to making our minutes and seconds count. For the last two years, we've been living in vans and traveling the world. Something's just happened. I think, I could be wrong, but I think this Crusoe has already been to 23 countries on four continents. We have fed giraffe, faced down elephants, kayaked with humpbacks, and played with meerkats. We've taken some of the world's greatest hikes, visited the world's greatest cities, and seen some of nature's greatest spectacles. We even got married by a penguin, but that's another story. Now it's time for our biggest challenge yet. We've bought an abandoned farm in northern Portugal and our mission is to turn the overgrown wreck into an off-grid sustainable place that we can call home. Join us and follow our journey. Be brave, think big, explore. And so it begins, love. And so it begins. Crusoe and I are busy this morning. We've got a plan and it's already begun. So show everybody what we've been up to. So this right here is going to be a window instead of a door. We don't need two doors at the front here and then maybe one day we put a door at the back there and leading out onto a terrace. But for now we're going to turn this into a window which means I've got to put some blocks, building blocks up to about this height today and um, to block it off and then the window will be like this. We're going to have shutters so it looks like the other building, so they look the same. Um, and then we'll put a new front door, a stable door over there as well. That'll be the plan. For now, I need to flatten this wall off. And um, that's proving a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. It's just literally cement on cement. So it's coming off, like popping off pretty much. Um, and then we've got to build a wall up to here. That'll be that. So we're gonna to have to pop into town, buy some breeze blocks. I do know that there are a few breeze blocks lying around the farm that we could probably use as well. So I'll go and collect those up and it should go together pretty straightforward, pretty easy stuff. Nice. Yeah. You've got some assistance. I see that, yeah. Quite a brave little duck and chicken. Okay, I'm going to take the, the door off next and then we'll have a look and see how good that wood is, see whether we can use it for another project. But I love the fact that these screws are coming out 25 years after they were put in. So I'm the first person to touch these screws in 25 years. Pretty cool. There it goes. Oh. Okay. Door off. Is it heavy? Does it feel good? Yeah, and like the table yeah. that we built, it feels really heavy and really solid. But I can see it's made out of pine, not oak, and I was kind of hoping it would be an oak door. But anyway, we'll see what we can do with it. <laughs> so, just around the corner from where we live, there happens to be a building merchant. Brilliant. I think that might be Mario's JCB, I'm not sure. But they've got sand, they've got the blocks. I managed to fit all the blocks and the sand and the cement in there that I need. Um, Crusoe's waiting for me to get back in the car. But that's really great news. Uh, hopefully, you can just shoot straight back to the house now and the job's done. Quick sharp. You know, they're so super friendly people here in Portugal. Of course, around this area, because we're very local now, everybody knows who we are. Um, and everybody knows that we've got this big project going on. I've come here and the guy literally was just like, no, we don't need your money. It's okay, you go, you go and... Uh... So I've basically just had to hand him over some, uh, some cash um, and big smiles, big handshakes. Um, I, do you know, if there was ever any doubt in anybody's mind why, why, why anybody would want to move to Portugal, um, just think of the people and, and the communities that you're moving into. It's really, really, really beautiful. And, and 
you know, days like today, okay, it's a little bit overcast up here in, in northern Portugal, hey. but I'm feeling really fortunate, truly I am. That was brilliant. We went to Mario's place. Nice. Yeah, he didn't want to charge us any money, but then in the end I gave him some money because I felt awkward. Good. Well, I think it's the right thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. What have you used my dustbin for? <sighs> Nothing. Oh, wow, sand. Okay. <laughs> I didn't have anything to put it in. <laughs> Mario was like, just put it in the bin. Okay. We just want to make sure we get those bricks that they fit, Chris, I think. Yeah. It was a really great day to take the door off, darling. Yeah, more rain. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, dear. Something that I'm so grateful for here on the farm and that I never take for granted is that we've got so many beautiful places and spaces where I can go or we can go to spend some time taking care of our mental health, whether that be with a little bit of time meditating or using the help of a therapist to talk through something that we're working through. As somebody that has hugely benefited from the power of talking to a therapist, I was so excited when we were approached by BetterHelp to sponsor this week's video. If you think that you could benefit from getting some help looking after your mental health, if you're feeling anxious, depressed, overwhelmed, or stressed in any way, then BetterHelp is here to help you. BetterHelp, and that's better H-E-L-P, offers licensed therapists specially trained to listen and help. You can talk to your therapist online in a private, safe environment from the convenience of your own home or wherever you are at any time that's convenient to you. And you'll have access to their network of over 20,000 specially trained therapists, which likely means that you'll have access to therapists trained in areas of expertise that may not exist in the area in which you live. To get set up is super easy. You just need to fill in a questionnaire online and using the information that you provide, BetterHelp will match you with the right therapist. You then schedule video or phone calls at times that are convenient for you and everything that you discuss with your therapist is of course completely confidential. You also have access to unlimited messaging with your therapist so that you can get help whenever you need it. If you ever needed to, you can request a new therapist at any time and at no additional charge. If the services of BetterHelp are something that you need, then why not join more than 2 million people who've used BetterHelp's services to take care of their own mental health? By clicking the link in our description below, you'll get 10% off your first month. That link is in our description and it's also here in front of you. It's betterhelp.com forward slash newbies. The community that we're building here and the connections that we're making with you every week when you write to us in the comments or connect with us on Instagram, it means the world to us. And we so sincerely hope that if you're in need of help, that this video might inspire you to reach out for that help and make a difference in taking care of your own mental health. That's nice and easy. I oh, just so good, darling. I make it look easy. <laughs> That's what it is. You better brick up the whole thing, considering it's really cold today. Uh, yeah. And we can unbrick it when the windows come we can in do that. three and a half weeks.
feel like I need to justify why my child is standing out in the rain without a raincoat on. He does have a raincoat, but he got wet before we could put it on. So now I'm just kind of waiting oh, until he's uncomfortable and then we will change him. And then we'll put the raincoat. So I couldn't find the right equipment here in Portugal. So what I've done is, on each course is I've screwed a couple of holes into the existing wall so that when I lay down the, the next row of bricks, they've got something sort of to attach themselves to on the existing wall. So it just makes the whole wall a little bit firmer. If Crusoe comes along one day and pushes against it really hard, it's not just going to fall in. All right, so um, wall's nearly finished. I am one course short of a full deck, so to speak, um, and I don't have any more breeze blocks left. So I do know that over here, stuck in the ground right there, we've got some more lying around. So I'm gonna use these ones that have been doing absolutely nothing, probably for a couple of decades, um, and I'm gonna stick them into the wall. And that kind of feels nice and fun. I wonder if a breeze block ever had feelings or thought processes, whether it was feeling a little bit left out, sat there in the, in the dirt, whether it was feeling, when will my turn come to be part of a wall? Well, breeze block, now, today, it's your turn. It's got a few ants in it and a few uh, bits and pieces on it. So I'm just gonna give it a bit of a brush down, wash it a little bit and then pop it on the wall. It quite literally has not stopped raining all day today. Oh, no. How are you doing, love? Yeah, I'm getting wet. Not only all day to decide to take the door off. Yeah, it is. Done. Uh, but we're near there. Good. And these, these, these are the last bricks going into place now, so. Great work. So kind of the heart of all of our buildings is this old, we've been calling it a not garage, but I think actually the proper word is an adega. It's the place where they used to make wine. It's got a flat concrete roof and it's currently leaking like a sieve. Yesterday we had some monumental rain and it's really, really highlighted the fact that we desperately need to do something about this. So. John's headed off to Leroy Merlin, our local hardware shop to see what the options are and hopefully it's gonna come back with something that will solve the problem um, so that we can make this watertight and weatherproof long before the winter months set in. And in time, we've got really grand ideas to put a lovely like rooftop deck on the top of this and use it as a bit of extra outdoor space, um, which will be really, really lovely. So we've got big plans for the space, but right now it's just storage and water. John Newby, if you are going to be ripping the felt off of that roof, you are going to get changed first, please. Darling, those are your good clothes. They are, but I've got, well, all right. It's gonna be a very exciting week here on the farm. It's preparing our old and leaky roof. On the Aradega. Yeah, on the Aradega. No, on, on the... our a digger. <laughs> oh, I'll just stick to the not garage. <laughs> On our not garage. So we're getting it ready because pretty soon we're going to be leaving the farm so that we can have our second baby. Um, it, we're getting very, very excited about that, but we are pretty sad about leaving the farm. So I'd best go and get changed. Yes, those are not work clothes, darling. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Okay. All right, back on the roof. I've changed, you'll be pleased to know. Here we go. I am back in my old um, 
what do we call them? Scruffs, if you like. Basically, what we've got to do today is try and get the rest of this felt roof off. It's already started to come off in places, but the hard bit, fairly confident of that, is gonna be getting this old stuff off. So let's have a go. I don't really know what kind of tools I should be using. So I'm gonna start off with this. It might be a good idea. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that maybe, actually, I might need to use a flamethrower or something. Did I just say flamethrower? That sounds a bit mental, but I'm not sure. Maybe a, th maybe a flamethrower is actually what we need or some sort of a torch to sort of loosen everything up and then scrape it off. It's a pretty hot day today. We're about 38 degrees centigrade here in Northern Portugal. So I'm hoping that the sun and the black felt will probably have melted enough so that I can just start scraping with this spatula. We'll see, have a go anyway. Yeah, at the moment it's super, super oh, duper I'm easy. So pleased, love, because you've been dreading that, saying it was going to be a nightmare. Yeah, I haven't been looking forward to it for sure. Do you know what? It's coming off so easily. I'm pretty confident that I've been okay in my in my nice clothes. Huh. <laughs> well, rather safe than sorry, right? <laughs> yeah, rather safe than sorry. Okay, well I'm going to carry on. Um, what are you up to? I am editing. 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 Okay. Before I do that, those kiwis are looking desperately thirsty. Okay. Give them some water. Yeah, they do look like they need a bit. Oh, so I started doing a time lapse. That wasn't smart because I just think it's going to take quite a long time. And I was expecting it to just, well, actually I wasn't, but I was hoping that I'd, I'd turn on the time lapse and it'd be like, done, brilliant. Everybody can move on, but it's not happening like that. Some parts are coming off super duper easy and other parts um, are just welded on basically. Um, so I've started using this. I'm not sure what it was, something to do with tiles probably. Um, it, was, uh, it was left behind one of the tools that I kept when we first got here. Um, so it's from the old people, the people that were here before, so it's probably quite old. Um, anyway, it's doing a pretty good trick, a pretty good job of taking off the, the gnarlier bits, the stuck bits, um, but definitely it's gonna take a while longer than I'd expected. Also, I'm seeing a little bit of dust flying around on top here, which I hadn't expected when I'd started. Um, so I've got myself a mask. I've done about a quarter, maybe a little bit more of the roof now. Um, and actually it's the first time since we've been at the farm that I've gone and got myself blisters. I don't often get blisters. In Finland, if you get blisters, they call them lazy man's hands for obvious reasons. If you're not doing hard work, your hands aren't tough enough and you get blisters. So one could say right now, I've got some lazy man's hands, which brings me to a very good point. It feels a little bit like it's time for a beer. It is such an exciting afternoon. Carpenter has arrived with our new windows. So we're no longer gonna be living with a hole in the wall. Can't wait. Now the local feral cat won't be able to jump through and uh, sleep on our sofa. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Good news. Crusoe has just woken up from a very hot afternoon sleep. And Adam's driving in. He's Can zooming on in. He'll have done that as well 25 years ago, darling. Isn't that so cool? Yeah. Now there's our windows. Yay! They've, uh, they've been made out of hardwood as well. Not, uh, oh my gosh. Not soft pine. <gasps> Darling, you. is that a door I see? I think it might be. <laughs> <laughs> One of the coolest things about this whole thing is that Adam is the same carpenter who came and fitted the doors and windows in this house 25 years ago. And it just so happened that he was the carpenter that was recommended to us by our friend Lida. Um, to come and do the new one. So it kind of feels really serendipitous that he's the person here helping us out. Wow. 
Wow, they are heavy windows, huh? They look incredible. Snazzy. Snazzy. I'm delighted with those. So the, the temptation is always that I would want to build it myself, you oh, know, because I like building stuff. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk more action. <laughs> yeah, so the temptation is that I would want to build these myself, but Adam's got a whole factory filled with really cool tools and kit, and he knows how to He's build windows. He's a proper professional, man. Look how beautiful those and are. They are very, very good looking windows and shutters. I'm delighted. I'm so excited. This yeah. is such a big day. It is. Oh. This is now checking John's um brickwork. And I know that I've made that hole too small by one centimetre. So we might have some work to do there quickly. pieces of wood we're definitely not going to get rid of them we are 100% keeping them because like with everything there's always something to do with leftover pieces I'm not quite sure yet what we're going to do with it I think you've got to build a window to secure the adega the knock garage yes yes we've got to do that yeah the other amazing thing is that when we first got in touch with Adam to ask about these windows he said that he would only be able to bring them in September and he's managed to bring that forward and we are so grateful Is that my carpet? Hi. Is that my carpet? It's not your carpet, but it's an old carpet. It's seen a lot of history. Okay. It's going to be fine. This, this is it? Dude, Tara won't let me go with the rug, so we've got this. Honestly, mixing bowls for plaster. Although, to be honest, darling, this is quite nice. So the noise in the background you can hear, and it is pretty noisy at the moment. We've got walls being knocked down and grinders grinding out the old metal hinges that were locked into the wall for the old shutters. They were very, very solid, strong shutters. Of course, Adam knows all about that. He put them there 25 years ago. But they're going first, and then the windows go in. And then we'll be able to stop the cat from coming and sleeping on the sofa tonight. Yes, it fits. I can't wait to appreciate how much of a difference it's going to make. You know, like, you know it's going to make a huge difference. But you've kind of got used to looking at some breeze blocks and a hole in the wall. Yeah. And I know that we're going to walk out, you know, into the courtyard every five minutes and just be like, oh my goodness, it looks so different. I mean, it's three months, almost three months. No, it is three months that we've been living with holes in the walls yeah. and no windows, you know? Lucky Portugal's rated, like, ranked as the third safest country in the world. Yeah, it is. It's mm. ranked as the third safest country in the world. Um, so, you know, we've basically been living here, doors unlocked, windows wide open yeah. for well, three not months. windows wide open. No, no windows. windows. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we have shutters. <laughs> That's so cool, man. Good looking shutters as well.
<laughs> Thanks, Griso. Wow, great help. That's the first window in place, I reckon. Brilliant. There we go, man. Look at that. Brilliant. found a new tool to help me out. I actually went on YouTube of all places to try and find out ways to get this felt off this roof a little bit easier. And one of the YouTube videos told me that I should use a shovel. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Is this a shovel or a spade? I'm getting confused now. I think it's a, I don't know. Spade, anyway. Crusoe, sorry, hang on a minute. What are you doing, buddy? You going to dad? All right, maybe mummy wants to help a little bit, Crusoe. <laughs> Mama, daddy, daddy. Okay, you can come up just for a minute. We'll have a look around. Okay. I'm starting to get tired anyway, to be honest, darling. Yeah. Been up here for around about 16 million hours. You realise you're making your 29-week, 30-week preg pregnant wife carry your toddler up a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing such a great job. <laughs> yeah, you're up. What about it up here? Hey, look. Look what daddy's been doing. Cleaning the whole of the roof. It's time for a change of scene. I'm going to go and render underneath the new windows. Good Finish idea. Are you going to help dad, Crusoe? You're going to help. Okay, let's go. Hold on, Crusoe. I'm not sure at what age. When you say to young people like Crusoe, hold on, they actually start holding on, but it's kind of funky. One minute you'd you'd be like, okay, I have to all like, just hold on to Crusoe. Just hold on to Crusoe for dear life, otherwise he'll drop. And now you say, hold on. And he's got this little squeeze around your arm and it's kind of cute, you know, isn't it? Boy? What are you smiling about? Okay, let's go and render a wall. Close the cap, push it that way. Push it right down. Go for it in the sand and sand. Tara's taking Crusoe, my little apprentice, off to the swimming pool because it's a hot day. I've actually been waiting for a good part of this day for this wall to be in shade. It's a, enough shade now so I can crack on with it. <laughs> Crusoe's running off to the swimming pool. He seems to have forgotten all about helping his dad. Way more fun to go and learn how to swim. But anyway, I've basically mixed this, made this, made this cement mix very similar to the mix that I used on the swimming pool. Um, which was uh, a little bit wetter than normal. I don't know if that's right, but it worked well on the swimming pool. Um, and I'm going to wet down that wall as well so it sticks nicely. The idea, and I'm not very good at this, so we'll see how it turns out. If it turns out bad, well, we'll just grow some plants up in front of it, but hopefully it doesn't. The idea is to make it as flat as possible. And then after the cement's on the wall, we're just going to chuck a bunch of pebbles in it to make it look the same kind of texture as the wall itself. Then give it a paint tomorrow, fingers crossed. It looks bees and ease, but like I say, I'm not very good at this. Back. No, 
Yeah. Alright. That's good, but it looks ace though. Well How have you we managed to get that texture perfect? Well, yeah, actually I was thinking in the end I, the, the original idea was to throw pebbles on it. Yeah. But actually in the end, putting the spatula trowel across it was giving that bit of texture and then also throwing some water on to keep the cement cool so it doesn't crack um, has helped give it that added texture. And the texture, if you look, if you come real close, you'll be able to see it's a really, really similar texture. So I'm hopeful when we paint it, um, you won't tell any difference. I suppose it's back on the roof. Oh, yuck, darling, shame, sorry. Are you helping, Crusoe? Can you put it in the box for me? Close. Okay, this has to be the last day that I'm up on this roof. I've got all day to do it, so I'm pretty pleased about that. Tara's promised me that she's going to go and paint underneath the window and the wall today that got rendered yesterday. Hey, yeah. yeah, we're feeling pretty excited about today. Two projects done. How are we doing, darling? It's very hot and hard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Coffee break. I don't think I, I dislike the job as much as that one. I'm so sorry. I really dislike it. You know, even when I was stomping the, the field like this for four days straight, it was a lot more fun because in the end you knew that it was going to be a great thing you, you're doing. But yeah. this is just boring and a horrible job. And in the end, it's just going to mean that no water goes into the not garage. And I'm like... <laughs> it's not inspiring, is it? It's not very inspiring. Yeah. Careful of your fingers, Chris. So I think it's high time we get this wall painted. I'm so looking forward to seeing it all finished. First things first is I need to clean the window frames because they've got a bit of cement on them. So I'm just giving them a wipe down and that's actually just a super easy job. Um, then I'll get some paint on, see how it looks. The honest truth is, often I'll start these projects and Crusoe will need something that means I have to stop. So John's going to take over and finish. Um, but the cool news is it's looking really, really great. That render that you did, darling, is absolutely perfect. So well done, darling. That's going to look fab. Crusoe and I are going to go and figure out what to do with him. Your mum's got paint all over her, hey? Love you. That right there, that sweat. This roof issue is becoming <laughs> a problem because we've got two days left until we leave the farm. We are battling our way through. The window is done, thank goodness. Doesn't it look great? It looks fab, so we're excited about that. Really cool. But the roof, the time is on. So yeah. we're going to leave it there for this week. Mm. And we'll let you know how it goes, whether or not you do actually manage to seal that before we have to leave. Yeah, next week's a big episode because we're starting to move towards 
time for the baby to be born and so starting to think about heading back north to the UK just for a few weeks yeah. um, while the baby comes uh, and then we'll be back of course. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, but we've got to get that Water and there's tight. still so much to do. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Please remember if you've enjoyed the video to hit that thumbs up and give us a like. You bet. Subscribe if you haven't already yeah. and as always leave us a comment because we love hearing from you and we will see you next week. We will, absolutely, and I can't wait. Thanks very much. Cheers folks. Bye guys. Bye. I mean he's nailed it. That's exactly what he needs to be doing. Well done, buddy. Well done, Crusoe. Is it done?